Charlene Marie Richard, also known as the Little Cajun Saint, was only 12 years old when she passed. But Acadiana will never let her be forgotten. I'm Kayla Lamano, reporting in Acadia Parish, where the next step in Charlene's canonization has been taken. Charlene Marie Richard, better known as the Little Cajun Saint, passed away from leukemia, but during her last days, she prayed for the benefit of others. Even after her death, people travel from all over to visit Charlene's grave, asking for her intercession to God and believing that she can help bring miracles. When I had uh, found out I had a, a brain tumor and stage one brain tumor, a friend of mine had introduced me to Charlene Richard and she kept me close to my faith. Even when I had times that I was steering away from my faith, she was the one who pushed and converted my faith back to me. Saturday morning, the Diocese of Lafayette leads the closing session to the cause of beatification and canonization of Charlene Marie Richard, a lengthy process. We've talked to witnesses, we've researched documents, we've, we've brought together, you know, all sorts of research um, to uh, basically a 1,964-page document that's been tri uh, triplicated, authenticated, sealed in boxes, and now will go to Rome for them to do their phase. Most of the saints ha have gone through this process, whether it's Mother Teresa, John Paul II. So it's very humbling that, first of all, in our own area, there's, there's someone up for that. Two, the fact that, okay, I, you know, just to, to see and talk to people who knew this person, and you, know, you can almost like feel that, that holiness as well. Now that the local process is complete, it is passed on to Rome, where it will be verified, reevaluated, and passed on to the Pope. Several members of Charlene's family attended the ceremony, including her older brother. It's a beautiful thing. It's awesome. It's also humbling, because the people of this community, we all were one and the same, and uh, we weren't any better or any worse than any of the other families, but God chose ours. But I realize now that He chose a member of this huge family in this community, and now she belongs to everybody. As I said, she belongs to everyone, and most of all, just like us, she belongs to God. Charlene's family, St. Edward's Catholic Church, and all those who believe in the little Cajun saint encourage you to give her a visit. In Acadia Parish, I'm Kaylin Lamano, KTC TV3.